This video is to help support you in cleaning clinical trolleys within clinical spaces as part of their daily clean. The first step is to look at what wipe you're going to use. Most frequently you'll be asked to do this with the green clinal wipes that are used as part of our standard clinical cleaning. There are other wipes, the red Clorox wipes. If you get asked to clean with these, you'll be supported in what kind of protective equipment you should be wearing whilst undertaking cleaning with them. But for today, we're going to clean with the green Clonel wipes. Choosing your wipe is the first step of undertaking our five step cleaning process. The second is to remove a single wipe from the pack and open it fully out. Now you're going to start cleaning from clean to dirty. So in this case, these are the pull out sections of the drawers that everyone touches as part of the daily interaction with the trolley surface. It's important to change the wipe regularly in between. If this was a large flat surface, we could use the same wipe for up to a metre squared of that surface. However, because we've got multiple different surfaces within the trolley that we're cleaning, we're changing the surface wipe regularly in between. If you were cleaning multiple different items, you would use one item per wipe. Now we've cleaned the trolley handles, we're now going to progress to clean the top of the trolley surface. This should regularly get wiped down as part of clinical use daily anyway, and so should be also part of the cleanest part of the trolley. You can see we're using a single wipe, fully opened out, using an S-shaped motion to clean the whole of the surface, not going back upon ourselves to make sure that the entire surface is cleaned. The same principle applies to any flat part of the trolley itself. As you can see, the rails are harder to do on an S-shaped motion, so we're cleaning these in their entirety. If you're not doing a flat surface, it's important to understand what order you're going to be cleaning them in, in to make sure that you don't miss anything. This is the process for cleaning as part of a daily clean. If you are asked to clean a trolley as part of a end of use screen, so a discharge clean, then the trolley may be decanted and empty, in which case you need to fully clean out all of the drawers as well as just the drawer handles and look at doing things like cleaning the wheels. It's important that you clean all of every object, even if there are areas that you think people don't routinely touch.
Again, keep the wipe as flat as you can when you're trying to clean complex surfaces, even if it's not as straightforward as when cleaning a flat surface in order to make sure that the cleaning agent is equally dispersed. The wheels are frequently the most contaminated part of any piece of equipment because of the fact that they will be less frequently cleaned but also they're in contact with the floor.